gotta still be out. Hi oh, there. there. <laughs> Sorry for our tardiness. We apologize. It happens. It's a live show. It happens. It is what happens when yeah. you have to drink and get all your alcohol ready, and your skull mug. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. Had a chisel out from glass before we could go on. We did. But <laughs> yeah. We're here. We made it. We're live. We have sound, hopefully. I hope you can hear us. Yeah. Fingers crossed. This is our Halloween episode. We're excited. Woo! Woo! Our audience could care less, but that's okay. That's fine. Thanks for being here, guys. <laughs> we all are fake Halloween fans. You're fake. Jeez. Your shoes may click and <laughs> everything else, but God forbid. Anyway. Hey, welcome to the cold show. Halloween edition. <laughs> Halloween. Halloween edition. We're going to do some things. We're going to do a listicle. We're going to do a theatrical presentation. I know it's been a while since the Cult Show Players Presents have performed for you all. We're going to fix that tonight. We are. We're going to fix that tonight. And we might be visited possibly by a special trick-or-treater. See what happens. See what happens, maybe. Yeah. Aside from that, though, Caleb. Yes. Who is with us in the chat and or in the studio? Well, in the studio, <laughs> we've got our Obi-Wan of OBS. Producer Whoa. Scott. Whoa. Actually, How long were you like thinking that. of that one? Caleb stays up <laughs> Actually, I thought of that one a maybe. really long time ago. And yeah. I just kept forgetting to write it down. So. Okay. <laughs> Found that one under the couch. A good uh, one. We have got the Reverend Michael B. Extra ice. He's back. <laughs> we have got Vanilla Ken. Vanilla. Hello. He's leaving us, by the way. Yeah. Oh. Lame. But thank you for being here. Uh, we have got Space Face. Macy. Yay. Even though she talks shit about my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, we've got Haley the PA. Yay. Hello, Haley. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, moving over, Pod People of the Future. Thank you very much. They're there. They're there. We love them Thank so you. much. The Portugal folks, we love you especially. Mostly Portugal, we okay. love you. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. And then live chat, we've got Enoch. 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 Moist. 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 <laughs> moist. moist. I, like, I know people love the word moist, so let's keep saying it. That wasn't even moist, though. <laughs> Miss Movie Buff moist Laura. Movie. Moist Laura. Welcome, welcome, Laura. Uh, Mindy Horror Movie Addict. Hello, Mindy. Hello, Dante. Mindy. Dante's here. Welcome, Dante. 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 Dante's Inferno. Uh, okay. Tommy Levette. And Tommy. Mark, Tommy. And Mark Vision's Truth. Hi, friends. Thank you so much, friends. Thank you Thank for you. Here. Thank you. From... The shining seas of North Carolina mm -hmm. to the grain laden hills of East Washington. Huh? <laughs> Whatever you guys happen to in Washington. Mostly grain. Grain and rain. Rain and grain. There cheers. you go. Yeah. You um, know what? Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. You want to cheers it? Let's cheers it. Thanks for being here. Cheers, friends. Cheers. <laughs> What do you mean? Shall we talk about what we have been enjoying in, a, in our beloved genre and beyond? Um, I, can, I can tell you. I can tell you a thing or two. Okay. So if you listen to Genre Junkies, we talked about Sundial. Fabulous, fabulous horror book. So you should go listen to that. Um, you know, I'm always reading a few different things, but I haven't plugged to Genre Junkies in a while. So there's that. Yeah. Um, I forgot to say a long ass time ago that I watched the new Hellraiser. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And yes, I really liked almost everything about it except for one thing that I really didn't like. So I don't want to have any spoilers, but maybe if you've seen it, we can talk about it because okay. I do think it is worth your time and you should watch it. Um, what, what else? Oh, New American Horror Story has started. I'm an American Horror Story super fan. Um, loving it. So happy with this season so far, even though it's just like barely, barely getting going. And then other than that, it's been really difficult because, you know, you have like your shows that you watch with your spouse. Yep. So I'm behind on a lot of things. I still haven't been able to watch Midnight Club and, you know, a few other, The Watcher, which I'm so excited about. Um, yeah, so it's a bummer, man. But, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. Just try to get it in by the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah. Same. I'm a little behind, too. But I got some more hot sauce from Keatonist.com. 
It's the most current from season 19, so I'm very excited about trying that. Haven't opened them yet. Uh, Space Face and I last Thursday went and watched Woman King, and we enjoyed that. I finished Midnight Club. Thought it was excellent. Lots of tears. You know, it's it's very different from, I think, all the flannies we've seen so far. I would agree with that. So, yep. uh, and I'll leave it at that. Uh, Disney Plus, I watched Werewolf by Night. Uh, it's a 45, 50 minute little short, uh, and I loved it. Oh, I thought it was great. I'm excited. I think I'm going to watch you know, it very yeah, soon. Yes, it's, it's a lot of fun. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, reading wise, I just started reading Logan's Run. Uh, we've uh, reviewed Logan's we, Run. We've reviewed it. The The book is much different. Uh, all of the characters are much younger. Really? Because when your palm goes blinky blink and then yeah. black at 21, not, Shit. not 30. So Damn, it's quick. They move them through. There are a lot of um, <laughs> underage things that are happening by our standards. Uh, which is, it, it's kind of weird. Kinda it's kind of weird. weird. But I'm enjoying the book, so whatever. Uh, and I think that's all I got. Okay. Neil. I think, I feel like I hear the pitter-patter, possibly, of trick-or-treaters getting closer to us. So <laughs> I'm going I'm to wait in case someone comes around soon, and then I'll be sure and be able to stop. So Okay, yeah, I'll listen okay, for that cool. pitter-patter so as bet, well. I bet in just like one more minute, maybe the trick-or-treater will get you on, the trick-or-treater. <laughs> one minute. In one minute. So get in front of your camera, trick-or-treater. <laughs> trick-or-treater. I don't think that's how trick-or-treating works, but yeah. Um, I watched Hellraiser as well. Yes. I don't think I liked it as much as you, it sounds like. I was oh. very disappointed oh. in many things. But we can talk about that perhaps when another maybe another time. Want another it to happen, time. I guess. I yeah. Know. After I've seen it. Yeah, <laughs> that works too. A lot of people still haven't been able to cut up. There's too much content. Seriously. And uh, well, yeah. I I have been like gorging myself like frantically trying to get everything in. I got Dahmer done all last week. Wow. Got oh, through wow. it all. Yeah. That was fun by myself. Wife gone just at night watching two episodes a night, kind of like that's going the, like, damn, I'm going down like a hole right now. That's how I <laughs> but, did it. Really? I didn't watch okay. Dahmer with a loved one. No, yeah, there you go. Except my cat. Well, yeah, the cats, of course. So, um, and um, 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 Halloween ends. Did anyone see that yet? Anyone see Halloween? Uh, I can't. I, I know that you have to, right? Oh, I have to. But, I have okay. To I haven't even it. seen the one. I haven't before, seen that one. Either. So. Okay. All right. I mean, I know I, if you go on the internet at all, you probably had it spoiled for you at this point. So. Oh, I did. Well, yeah, yeah. but who does that? <laughs> no one goes on the internet. So. Sure. <laughs> um, and then, by the way, you guys at your last spooky summer party, you mentioned. Hannah Waddingham uh, in Hocus Pocus 2, yes. right? Who was the queen yeah, witch, yeah. whatever you want to call her. Yeah, so um, uh, Ted Lasso, like we mentioned, is the mo the show that she's in. And, by and I just want to put it out there that Ted Lasso, by the way, is a very good show. And I know it's not horror, but you know what? Sometimes we watch other things in horror. Not often. Not often. But some of us do. So it's a good show. I, anyway, that's all I want to say. I don't think you have to sell Ted Lasso. I think they're doing just fine. Right. <laughs> Without me, like but... all of the awards and all of the. Well, I'm hoping Jason yeah. Sudeikis will serve me papers while we're on. Oh. So that's all. I was there for that, by the way. I was there when she, when she got served. Yeah. I saw that I happen don't live. Know that. Like we didn't I saw really talk about that, but you did. I, we did. Oh we did. no! I it's all over my news feed. But, no, no, so. no. Neil was there. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I was there. Got it. Hey, I think. Wait, do you guys. Do you, got, do you hear that trick or treater? I think we got a trick or treater. I think we do. Is that who? Who is that? Trick or treat. Oh. Trick or treat. It's well, hello. Hey. Look at that pretty Ooh, trick or treater. We got Maleficent. I thought I would come in and check it out. Oh. You like my you costume? You look so adorable. You look very nice. We might have to you actually give you. You look very like Maleficenti. Yes. Is that correct? Uh, Emma... Sandra got it. All correct. Right. Correct. I'm always right. No, so you're. I, 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 so people tell me that I, re... I remind them of Maleficent, so I decided to be Maleficent. Yeah, just like Probably. lean into it. I love it. Yeah. Just like walking through your normal life, people will say, you look like Maleficent. You remind us in, of Maleficent. In, in fact, in fact. Okay. I have, I have a bigger headdress somewhere, but it's massive. 
And um, when I see you in person, I will wear that one because it's even more maleficent-y. You'll, you'll see. So how are you up? How are you guys doing for Halloween? Pretty good. Yeah. It's the best time of the year. Are you watching no. some movies uh, or playing games? A little bit of both. We go, <laughs> we go trick or treating every night. Good. 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 Every night. Every, every night. night. Walk I into like the... your uh, yeah. spend the night T-shirt, Neil. You like that? Yes. <gasps> What's this? What's this I about? saw it. I spotted that right away. I now, figured the only way you can get your hands on Spend the Night, which is my new horror comic book, is through Kickstarter. And it ends right after Halloween. So if you want to get issue number two, or if you forgot to get issue number one, you can get it on Kickstarter. Then it's gone. You won't be able to get your hands on this baby. Or and the, this variant. Where's this the Kickstarter the variant? one's got the Nice thick paper, right? Like the super. Yes, yes. You're gonna get the premium paper, the holographic. The edition. Yes, this is the special holographic cover only Ooh, it's for pretty. Kickstarter. Yeah. yeah. And it's spooky. Um, backers, yeah. No, it, it's it's very cool in person. It's even cooler than um, Keanu Reeves. Silver Whoa. Cover. Whoa. Yeah. And I love same. spirals. I have some spiral tattoos, so I love the spiral ah, design. Well, it is uh, like a paper tear. And this poor girl, she doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> unlike unlike the, the victims in my uh, film Blood Diner, um, these, these girls don't stand a chance. That's right. But you'll have to get it to read it. You'll see. I'm, okay. read, I'm doing a reading. I'm doing a reading Sunday night, Halloween Eve at Silver Sprocket in San Francisco at nice. um, 5 o'clock. So the witching hour is now 5 o'clock. It's now 5 <laughs> so o'clock, yeah. I'll be there <laughs> at 5. And then I'm running over to the Balboa Theater to screen um, Blood Diner. For yes and partying so, with my fans at, that love blood diner so that almost didn't happen because someone i think tried to steal the dcp on the way to san francisco and um so i said to neil neil if they steal that dcp i'm not gonna show up so yeah. i guess it was the stars for me to show up because they found it yeah, I don't know how they found it, but they found it. Uh, you know, who knows where they left it in front of the theater? But it was, um, it had been, uh, it disappeared for a while, and then now it's back. So we are running the film at what time? At seven o'clock at the Balboa Theater in San Francisco. So if you haven't seen it on the big screen, try to make it there because it's a totally different film on the big screen. Balboa is super cool place too. Very, I haven't been. They're throwing a party for me. Oh, with a that's DJ. awesome. Yeah, so I'm going to put on my dancing shoes. And, uh, yes. You can, uh, you can dance with me if you show up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, that's pretty it's good. A, it's that's a real good. treat. Believe me, I took tango lessons. So <laughs> prepare, prepare yourself. <laughs> oh, try to nice. keep up with the Queen of <laughs> yes. Halloween. You should be doing the Kong Congo, if you ask me, though. <laughs> well, I can do, I can do the Mambo. Well, like Kong Mambo. mambo. Yeah. Also That's acceptable. Awesome. Also acceptable. It all works. Yeah. So. so Jackie yeah. was supposed to actually be here in the studio, but unfortunately, you know. it's how it goes. came got, down. This got so crazy. I was trying to get myself up there, and I'm going to come definitely another time. But this Halloween's gotten crazy. I'm reading in up in uh, at Silver Sprocket, and then I'm and that almost didn't happen because nobody could figure out how to. I don't know. It was a mess, and they booked it the same day as the screening, apparently at the same time, and so we now moved it. So it's like Silver Sprocket five o'clock, running to the theater at seven, party after that, and then you know um, I'm gonna try to crash the terror vault from my friend Peaches Christ. Yes. I said, you know what, you know, I've got to get in there. I'm going to try to pull some, some, uh, some pull, see if my, my name pulls any weight at the door. Ah! So if you see me, if you see me arrested in San Francisco, 
<laughs> oh my god, peaches would never happened. allow that. So Jackie, you know, I'm a huge fan of you. I adore you and I adore peaches and I want to go maybe next year. Can we go to the terror vault together? Like let's would that be amazing? Let's try to do that. You know, um yes. let's do that. We'll plan it ahead of time. And um I'll have to try to pull some favors because I'm crashing this year if I can get in. Well, we'll Jackie, see. Jackie, if you recall, you brought you brought someone with you last year to the terror vault. Yes. Neil, and that, you were you were my you were my uh, plus one or three or something like that. I don't forgot. We got but there are three of us, right? Yes, you're and, your daughter, uh, and but and you, you were got, like somebody was trying to I don't know corner you. I remember you were getting cornered by this. Crazy well, because you kept pushing me in front and making all the bad things happen to me. <laughs> That's right. That's right, because it was a really aggressive group of performers on us for some reason. Right. Why was that? And and then there was that one person that arrived, and she was it a guy or a girl? I don't remember, but I cornered don't you, and you couldn't get out of the room. Remember? And Vaguely. You, you, didn't, you didn't want to be impolite, you know. So right. You just you hung out. Be a part of the experience. Right. Yeah. Right. You got to. You got to. I love it. You got to go with the flow. And then yeah. when I told them I was, I was a film director, they wanted to tie me up for some weird, weird reason. <laughs> oh, good. And, yes. um, yeah, and I don't think they believed me. They said, yeah, sure, you're a film director. Sure, you direct horror films. And then she, they tried, uh, it, was, it was the nun. The nun tried to tie me up and give me a hard time. I said, you, I said unhand me. Remember, Neil? We didn't know what to do. And then I got, no, I I, then I got shoved into some kind of a weird balloonish kind of um balloon tunnel kind of birthing vagina Do you remember oh, yes. that yeah. and um, <laughs> have vagina. Yeah. and i'm thinking to myself this is not i want to touch all this stuff where everybody else came through the same birth canal right everyone was like post-covid and was like was everybody like touching this and like rubbing their bodies up against this vagina thing so I don't know. It was just wild. It was just a wild experience. I, I want to set expectations. There's no vagina this year in, that you go oh. through. Anyway. Oh, thank God. I, I, <laughs> well, I'm not I going enjoyed now. I enjoyed doing it. I enjoyed doing it. I didn't think of the, 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 the health after effects until later. You know, I thought, well, maybe that wasn't the most sanitary to be squashed through that thing with everybody else. You know? This is but... what we do for horror. <laughs> That's true. That's true. So hey, next Jackie. year, Sandra, we're going. I'm gonna we'll call go. Peaches and say, Peaches, get me some tickets. You know, I, you know, last year I could do it because I was on her show. That's I was right. episode eleven on her podcast for Blood Diamond. Great Dino. episode, great podcast. Besides, ah, that. Th thank you. I, I, I felt I could pull a favor because I was just on the show. Yeah. And then this year, I haven't seen her um, since uh, our talk since last year, and I thought, oh God. I'm just gonna crash it. If I if they let me in, great. If they don't let me in, fine. But yeah. I wanted to plug her, plug her terror vault. I enjoy it. I enjoyed yes. it when we went, Neil. Don't you think? What was your What was, was your great. favorite part? It was wonderful. Hopefully, I, you know, and if you get arrested, that'll be kind of epic too. So yeah, I don't mind getting arrested in front of the terror vault. And then I'm, yes. <laughs> it could be fun, and but it would ruin my reading and it would ruin the uh, the um, screening. So. Hey, Jackie, there's Who a knows? question someone is posing from the chat for you. Would you mind taking one? Oh, sure. And it's not too personal. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> what is okay. your social okay. security number? Yeah. Right, right. Which and and my driver's license number. And, and okay, you want to impersonate me? Good luck. <laughs> Here's your question. This is from okay. um, our friend Dante. I think it's interesting the Japanese film com company Toho offered to produce a sequel to Blood Diner and Hi, respect he did you don't do homework. He did his yes. homework. And respect you don't do sequels. Any horror films you think make decent sequels though? Oh god. You know, I'm not even going to talk about this the Halloween. I did like the one just before this last one, but mm. you know, it's such a Can I talk do you want to do spoilers? Should we do spoilers? I, mean, I think everybody one, already knows what happens was, in this new Halloween last, movie. Neil, don't you think the last one was unwatchable? I did not care for it, no. No, it was unwatchable. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, 
you sit there going, oh, God, did someone just pay, take a paycheck and just, you know, call this one in? We'll just call this sequel in. <laughs> <You know. laughs> oh, Jackie, so, Dante not, would also like you to know that he loves you. Ah, oh, Dante. <laughs> Ah, uh, mi amore, call me, call me. <laughs> so um, I'm going to let you go so you can keep doing what right. you do. And I want to watch your games. I'm going to keep you playing here so I can watch you play this game. Thank I, wish I, could, I wish I could play with you. Oh, but maybe next, next time, next time. Next time next for sure. Time. Yeah. Come up, okay. come up soon. Yeah. All right. Happy Halloween. Happy, Mwah, Halloween, happy Jackie. Halloween, Jackie. Mwah, Mwah, spend the night. You. Spend the night. I think I hear some trick or treaters, early trick or treaters <laughs> out there. <laughs> it wouldn't be funny if it was us. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Mwah. Thank you. Mwah. Mwah. All right. I'll just love Jackie Kong. Yay. Yes. Thank you, Jackie. She's so awesome. <laughs> she has. Better than we just. <laughs> <laughs> Better. All um, right. So, what do you think? I think oh, we, should we have do... a new subscriber, though. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hi, Ronnie Spa. Ronnie. Spa. Ron Ronnie. Ronnie, welcome to the cult. Thank you for joining our cult. You say thank you when people join the cult. Thank you for joining our cult. Is that or give me some money? <laughs> yeah, or... we'll take yeah. your bank account. Drink some Kool-Aid. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And, and here is your uniform. That's yeah. right. <laughs> um, but I Here's think... your bowl cut. <laughs> I think we should do what Jackie Kong advises. Yes. And get on with this thing. Get on with the show. Yeah. Let's do it. We got a list. We got a game list. Fun times. Let's go. A list. Do we have a bumper for our list? Maybe. I don't even know. Oh, do we have a our, No. Nothing special. No, we don't. No. Okay. <laughs> we just cross that right off. No. No. We don't. You know what? We don't need it. Nope. We don't need it. Okay. I could, I could just use the stinger. Use whatever you want. Ah, that stung! Cheers! Cheers. Jesus! <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. God, that's smart. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> so here's here's what's up. This is kind of a listicle fun times, like we've talked about. We haven't done one of these in a while because oftentimes they take a lot of work. But this one was a little bit easier. We could kind of cheat with this one because this was all of our favorite halloween watches ranked top five top five each so this was really fun because we've done a lot of these on the show before we've talked about them before but um so we yeah so we were like oh I, i've seen that one i know about that one right so that was awesome so producer scott ran these through uh many algorithms and math equations to get us to the list that we have today scott is and with your top fives each, I came to a top ten. So we're gonna st we, so I have some you know honorable mentions from six through five. What would you like to or uh, six through ten anyway? What would you like to start with? Ten. Start with ten. ten. Let's yeah. do it at we ten. have no idea, by the way. The yeah. rankings. The ranking. So yeah, we we don't know how this. What's nice? Panned out. Well, number ten, I think, was intended to Thank be you. a true honorable mention. But at number 10, we have uh, Garfield's Halloween <laughs> Adventure. It made the list. Wow. <laughs> you like me. You really <laughs> like me. Um, we did not get a chance to watch this as a people, which yeah, is a big same. bummer. <laughs> yeah. But, um, or, or, or a part. <laughs> no, no. So we're going to let Neil talk about yeah, this Yeah, Neil, one. you take this. But who doesn't love Garfield? Hates Mondays. Loves, loves lasagna. lasagna. Yeah. Normal. Likes Normal. to kick his dog. Yeah. It's like everything yeah. that you, yeah. you want to do. No. I love Garfield. I am, I am honored. I am pleased. I am verklempt. I am overwhelmed. I am all, all the, the things. things. All the things. All the things that Garfield made the list. Because, yeah, it was my number six. It was an honorable mention. Um, yeah, man, I've been watching this thing since I was a little kid. I think it probably came out in 85, I'm going to guess. So I was 10, 11 years old, depending. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's obviously it's old school animation. It's got Lou Rawls doing this, the the songs he sings for Garfield. Yeah. Um, Lorenzo, Lorenzo Music is the voice of Garfield. Not Bill Murray. No, not Bill Murray. <laughs> That's the new one. Haley, not Bill Murray. But <laughs> anyway, but uh, 
And it's a fun adventure. It's got the music. It's got Garfield and Odie uh, going trick-or-treating together and trying costumes on. It's adorable. It's got everything John Arbuckle trying to impress. I mean, it's... John Arbuckle. It's, <laughs> you know, it's got everything you want. Garfield goes on an adventure. He meets an old man. There's ghost pirates. I mean, this thing, it takes you up and down, back and forth. Emotional. <laughs> it is a roller coaster. Your emotions, you feel all of them. You feel them all. Did he beat Meryl Streep that year? Garfield? Yeah. He did. <laughs> he did. Uh, yeah. Yep. So, Garfield. anyway. And you, uh, you can get it. It is available online digitally. Uh, I used to have it on a DVD, and then I bought it uh, on digitally so I could watch nice. it wherever I go. <laughs> Fabulous. Garfield's wow. Halloween Adventure. That's number 10. Stephen All Craig. right. Well, nice. at number nine, on showing up on one person's list as well, we have The Nightmare Before Christmas. What? what? Only on one? Only on one? Fuck you guys. <laughs> well, no, I mean, no, wait, 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 whose we list was it? <laughs> no, wait, wait, here's my question. If it's only on one list, how is it higher than McGarfield? <laughs> because Garfield was number six on your top five list. <laughs> Can I just really quickly defend myself here? No, of course. Okay. I don't give I, a shit. <laughs> I have my reasons. First of all, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a movie I treasure and I hold very dear to my heart. And you can watch it any time of the year. I'm one of those people where it leans more towards Christmas for me. And there are so few goddamn Christmas things I like to watch. It lives over there. Aside from Hallmark films. Only with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When I watch it with sure. you guys, I love them. But yeah, so it's that's that's why it's not on my Halloween list. Okay, all right. I will say I had a really hard time coming up with this list because there's just a lot of movies. By the way, it's not just movies that people watch during Halloween. It's about movies that take place during. No, Halloween. it had to be about. Like, it had to be yeah. right. So I had a really hard time like just coming up with five. Neil came up with six, and I'm just like, holy shit. I could have had, <laughs> like, I could have had a lot more. Yeah, I, I, more. I, I bow yeah. down. Like, I, I just, yeah. We, um, we, yeah. I'll kiss there the was, later. Uh, there was <laughs> quite a few that didn't make my list, and that was hard. There's, there was actually okay. some decisions going on in this list. Full. Okay. okay. Hard for me to make a list. Hard for you guys to just come Narrow up with down. five, or in Neil's case, six. Uh, I never saw this... When it, when this movie first came out in theaters, I never saw it, never heard of it. It wasn't until much later that, like, I think Disney was doing bringbacks during Halloween that it seemed to catch on. I could be wrong about that, but um, when I finally did watch it, I loved it. I loved the music. I loved Danny Elfman. I love just all the characters in this. I, you know, as Neil said, it takes you through all the emotions you know, about finding what your thing is and not trying to, you know, step on other people's toes, you know, when Jack tries to take over Christmas. Like, why why would you want to take over that stupid holiday anyway? Just wants a change. That's just dumb. Yeah. Uh, so, I love Jack. I love Sally. You know, I love the the three little... Lock, I'm shot, not, and barrels. Yeah, yeah I think they're, they're, my favorite. they're so fun. Like, he never yeah. sent a and, and Oogie Boogie. I mean, oh, yeah. he's, he's great. He's great. Love Oogie Boogie. All right. Oogie, Oogie Boogie, Boogie is an icon. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy is going to bed. Good night, Tommy. Good night, Tommy. All right. Next up, showing up again on one person's list. <laughs> Who could it be now? We have Halloween yeah. Town. Yes. Yes. We certainly have. We have our defenders of Halloween Town. <laughs> For, it's actually really funny because these two just watched it for the first time last year. Mm -hmm. They did not like it. Mm -hmm. But it's funny because I've actually come across a lot of adult people who haven't watched it until they were like in their 30s or something and really like okay. it. So um, for me, it's pure nostalgia, joy. I was the target audience when this came out and it really has stuck with me. I think it's so cute. I love how the people that were in it really celebrate it and keep it alive they do lots of reunions that town in oregon puts out the big pumpkin right. and i mean so there's more than just tens of us out there <laughs> that love halloween town it's just in this show um i stand alone like the cheese <laughs> yeah. I, I would go to that town with you yes! that seems like fun sure. especially well, yeah. if we're gonna make chowder chowder but... <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> well, and it's like, I don't know, for all us kids who love Halloween so deeply in our hearts, and I know, I know Neil will understand this, you would long to go to Halloween Town. I would. Where it's just like you just belong and you just fit in and everybody's just a freak and you're just happy. Sure. And, and Debbie, that was Debbie Reynolds. Debbie Reynolds. Debbie yeah. Reynolds? Yeah. She's there being, Ma. being the, the witchy witchy that she Grandma. Had. Yeah. She's so loving. She is. Yeah. But that's all I'll say about my town. My <laughs> town of Halloween. Sounds like you should be doing a John Cooper Mellencamp song about <laughs> yeah. I'm born in my town. <laughs> Casting spells in my town. Oh my god. Debbie Reynolds living in my town. <laughs> Little orange houses. Little orange houses for you and me. All right, at number seven, uh, this one also stands alone. Gee. We have The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, more specifically, Sleepy Hollow. Wait, this does not stand alone. There's only It's only on one person's it's list. It's on two people's list. It's on two people's lists. You vote twice? No. <laughs> it's not on your list? I don't, I don't think so. It is not. I, I, I'm, looking, I'm, looking over the, I'm looking over the algorithm like right now. It is not on <laughs> Neil's <laughs> list. Yeah, but you and I... For the very first time. Yeah. Ichabod Crane? Okay, oh, but shit. you and I... Okay, give me your hand because I'm a little upset right now and I kind of need some support. Okay. You and I have talked at rather good length yeah. about how much this film means to us. You watch it with like your kids. Yep. And we both talk about how much we love it and we've loved it since we were children. Yep. And didn't put it on our I list. Sorry. Like after watching it, I would like to edit my list and put it on. Caleb's and editing the list. Remove something. But yeah, no, I never. I'm disappointed. Never. I would ter- put it on, on mm-hmm. Disney Plus when I got yeah. it. Yeah. Like, and try to watch it with the kids. And yeah. both of them would just sort of like wander off. Oh. And I don't know if it's just because it starts with Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. They don't seem to appreciate that. Very whoa, much. whoa, whoa. Those are fighting words from producer Scott. I'm just saying, producer well, Scott would take a. He oh, would, he's leaving. Producer Scott would take a bullet for that toad. Yeah. Like, talk are you going to mute him? About it. Talk to my kids. Not me. Oh. 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 Things are getting knocked down. Things are getting knocked down. I think that. Oh, th- Caleb's dead, apparently. Yeah, but. um. You know, I still think producer Scott's angry. <laughs> <laughs> well, be mad at my kids, not me. Well, anyway, um, I'm just really surprised. I'm just genuinely very surprised. Um, you guys like it? You guys like Ichabod Crane? I'm not saying I dislike it. I just, I didn't, I guess it isn't my sixth favorite, favorite. or my seventh. You know what I mean? I did five. I feel like Boo, you Neil. told me lies. Boo. Boo. You told me lies. You told me sweet little lies. <laughs> Tell me lies. I what have say? a headless horseman. I I watched egg. it. I watched it by headless. myself last week. I watched it by myself. You yeah. watched yeah. between dogs. So did I. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> I put it on and the kids wandered off. No, my kids weren't even around. I'm just saying. I'm like, I want something Halloweeny in between my Dahmers. Yeah. And so <laughs> between my Dahmers. <laughs> and so I put on that, and then I watched Charlie Brown uh, Halloween pumpkin oh, okay. thing. Okay. And I even like really like Charlie Brown. I just put it on one yeah. something more Halloween because I already watched Garfield twice. I was like, you can't you know? You can't wear it out. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, number so six. It's a beautiful. Wherever we are, it's a beautiful, beautiful. It's classic. a great. It's great. I love it. I love. I always, I love the hands that get the moon right. They grasp the moon. Grasp the moon. I love the. Yeah, come on, yeah, come yeah. on. You know, and the, <laughs> I mean the, the 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 willows and the thumb. You know, yes. the whole thing. I love it. It's great. I like that he eats all the time. I related to that I one. Feel his pain, yeah. So I just want to eat all the time. And be a schoolmaster. No, I don't want that. <laughs> you okay? If I could live in the school, right? Yeah, yeah, I just my shin. Yeah. Kick the table. You don't need your shin. <laughs> I don't. It's all right. What else? So at number six, this is the appropriately last film that is only on one person's list. Surprisingly, we have Terrifier. Yeah, well, I guess that's me. <laughs> um, you know, I just have to. I didn't put that on mine. I didn't put it on mine, and I'm very shocked. <laughs> we are both. <laughs> this is what happens like, when, wait, you what? Share, when you share a brain like we do. We one half of us says, "Didn't you put it on the list?" Didn't you, didn't wait, you wait, put wait, it didn't you put it on your list? 
All right. Um, well, I know. I almost want to go back and look I know. I'm like, wait a minute. All I would say is, again, I had a really hard time filling out five titles. I didn't. I'm not going to rehash why I like it because we just talked about it two weeks ago. You can go back and listen to that episode. But yeah. it's oh, got well. practical effects. Art the Clown is awesome. We love him. Uh, da- Damien Leon, Leon. Is a great director producer writer special effects, special man. effects camera person wedding you know, officiant. yeah he, he's a damien of all trades painter so. sistine chapel right sistine. uh it's just a, a a nice fun horror movie like they used to make it's, it's back in the 80s it's gritty and dirty and, it, and, and wonderful and, and and then like yeah. sees the line and then takes like yeah a mile over it yeah <laughs> i'm um yeah i mean i think mistakes were made in the making of this list but i don't regret the ones i did pick i just feel bad that i didn't well you can't say that because now our li- our top our top favorite list isn't you're saying it's no, I, no 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 that, okay you, let's our what list I, said. Is I said mistakes were made <laughs> no, wait a second. i said mistakes were made our but list isn't I our real list <laughs> i don't regret any of the things that i picked okay that's what i said so it's still your it. top it's just you, yeah you just, just can't a it's top five it's really hard that's what it comes down <laughs> well, to you have to cut Ichabod. <laughs> sometimes you got to cut off Ichabod's <laughs> legs. You just got to cut it. And leave him for the horsemen. And sometimes you just got to take Terrifier and turn it upside down and cut it in half. <laughs> you just got to put him in his little baggie. Yeah, and his little trash bag? Take him off. Set him down the river. Yeah. All right. What else? Well, All you're right. going to have plenty of opportunities to argue over what goes over Yay. another. Because okay. we have a three- way tie for third place so i'm going to go in no particular order and you're going to have to decide after these next three in what order they go in so uh one of the movies tied for third place we have paranorman paranorman okay paranorman very cute film paranorman so just start at paranorman and just talk about it yeah, and then, then you know, when we get to the second one, you can fight okay. over well, it. I absolutely adore Paranorman. Paranorman's a very cute movie. Well, not on my list, but it's cute. <laughs> oh, it wasn't on your list. Oh. No. Okay. Oh, no. I Paranorman is an excellent, excellent, excellent movie about being the weird person, which, mm-hmm. you know, the different person. Absolutely. Uh, you know, how parents treat their kids, and it's not necessarily that they're being mean, but they're trying to protect them and, you know, from from being bullied or picked on. Uh, it's about following your what's in your heart. And, and Very sweet. Just, um, and, I it's, think and it's, it's, it's brilliantly made. It is yes. like... Because it's like that claymation stop mm-hmm. motion, you know. And I just, like, the details that they pay. So, Norman has, like, kind of these ears that stick out. And yeah. a lot of scenes, like, when the lighting is behind him, you actually see the light, like, shining through his ears. Which is just, like, it's a stupid touch. Yeah. But it just goes to show, like, how how much they loved it. How much detail they wanted to put in there. They didn't have to include that. Yeah. They did. And I believe it's the first major released American animated film with an openly gay character in it. It's with Mitch. Mm-hmm. Um, Maybe. Yeah. It who, was, is, who is voiced by uh, Casey Affleck. Casey Affleck. Uh, Affleck. Yeah. I, can't, I don't know if I'm saying those words exactly right, but I think it was like the first major American animated with an openly gay character. Okay. okay. Iconic. Um, I can see how some pieces are coming together here. Okay. It's a sensitive one. <laughs> and a lot of Caleb's choices are going to be mushy hard ball. So now we're going to be at this tie junction, and I have a feeling that ours aren't going to be as heartfelt. Like, not like emotional, like, mm. oh, nice watch with the family films. Okay. That, part of that is correct, I would think, because mm. I also had paranormal on my list. So. Yeah. Yeah. But- I will watch this movie by myself. It doesn't have to be about family or, you know, like, I just genuinely... Yeah, but it's one you can watch with... You don't watch Terrifier with the family, per se. I mean, I would. No, I wouldn't. (laughs) (laughs) It was like you had an opportunity and you did not. Um, What else comes into this tie? Well, I would like to hear what Neil has to say about... Oh, yeah. What do you want to say? Oh, I 
yeah, I think it is wonderfully animated, and I very much love the detail of the story as well with Norman and the fact, like, when his cell phone rings in the beginning, it's the Halloween theme song, you know, and all yeah. these little things very that tongue and cheek that I was like, oh yeah, that's me. That's like, you know, that's what I do. Or that's what you know. I don't. Know. I just kind of really identify with that character from the beginning as a little kid, you know, mm -hmm. things I used to be when I was a little weird little horror fan as a junior high kid or whatever it was. So, um, yeah, I think it's really fun. Uh, bring it to the end with um, what they think is, what is it, the, a witch? That yes. I think it is, but it's, yeah. it's the girl mm -hmm. and all the, the screaming and the lights and the effects and everything going on, you know. And, very cute. But it was just, it's just really well done. And I like that the zombies end up not being bad zombies, you know, or anything. Yeah. And always, yeah. it's just, you know, it's nice really zombies. well done. Um, great Halloween film. Absolutely. So. So everyone watching live, you're going to get to see something pretty fun right now because I need to do some audio stuff live. It's probably going to be edited out for everybody else. So uh, have, have fun, everyone. What should we do now? Should we talk? Yes, just chat with them for a bit. Okay. All right. Guys. All right. Uh, apparently, we're going to switch over to our shotgun <laughs> mic. Because these batteries are not lasting very long. The batteries are not, uh, batteries are not uh, lasting very long. Uh, From the uh, ceiling, it ascends, much like the Sistine Chapel. Our microphones. Should we turn off our lapels? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. But soon. Is it all of our packs dying or just uh? Well, well see, now Sandra seems to be working. I uh, got life in it. She got full bars. Maybe they're just not connecting correctly. Let's see what we have here. Take a look. You got full battery. I got full battery. Yeah, me too. Full battery. It might be the connection is what's going bad, not the battery okay, perhaps. Which... Anyway, anyway, so we can keep talking about the fact that it's Halloween time. So actually, I do have something to bring to the table. Okay. Do you remember any episodes of television shows that like their Halloween episodes, you know, because they do like it's a yeah. normal TV show and then like the Halloween episodes? Yeah. Do you have some favorites of those? Do you guys have some favorites? Oh, <sighs> Neil probably has Elf. I actually don't remember an Alf one. I, I don't remember. Um, I didn't, sure he did it. I didn't grow up with television, so I don't. Oh yeah. There's nothing that like just immediately jumps out jumps to, you. to mind. Yeah. But all the, all the shows back in the day used to do that. Would do it at the some point. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. I remember Kate and Alley. <laughs> did you hear that show? <laughs> yeah. um, Kate, you guys, Kate and Alley, anyone? Remember I remember the name. But okay. I never watched it. Um, but it was Jane Curtin. And uh, you remember Jane Curtin from SNL? Um, I can't. She, Conehead. She was in the Conehead movie. She oh was, yeah, uh, I hate Mrs. The Conehead. Yeah. <laughs> of course you do. So um, she is funny though, of course. Yeah. And then there was an, uh, uh, Susan St. James. I think was the name of her friend who played the other one, Kate O'Reilly. <laughs> but anyway, Kate O'Reilly. Um, yeah. They had a Halloween episode, and I recall because it had something to do with like a ghost or a floating woman. Yeah. Kind of thing. Um, and I yeah, I I don't just I can't say that I loved it or remember it that well, yeah. but. You're, it sticks out it in your memory. It sticks in my craw. <laughs> I was a TGIF. Susan St. James and yeah. Jane Curtin. Yes. I'm a TGIF kid, you know, as a as product of the 90s television. And it was always Halloween episodes. And they also would usually, because I think they were on ABC, they would do like a going to Disneyland every like oh once in a, every like show had at least one disneyland episode so it's like you had your halloweens you had your christmases thanksgivings and you go to disney at some point in there too of course yeah i think one of them wow. had the best halloween episode oh it's my the gosh only, that leaked in until Stephen king as a kid that's right yeah all the Stephen king references yes oh my gosh yeah and um yes home improvement halloween episodes were always really good they always were like super over the top and like the pranks and the effects that was a family that appreciated halloween by god <laughs> so michael says quantum leap laura says um home improvement, home improvement. That's what I'm, yeah that's what i was yeah no, 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 i was just kind of summarizing because in case her sound was Poopy. I I think we are fine. The mic pack seem to be working. I moved the receivers, so more of a direct line, maybe. Yep. Fingers we'll crossed. We'll see what happens. All right. Okay. So that continue, was... Scott. All right. So also tied at number three, we have Hocus Pocus. Okay. Yay! Hocus Pocus was on my list. It was on my list. It was not on my list. I would move this all the way to numbers. I don't know, maybe six, maybe seven. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's pretty 
harsh <laughs> for, for the old hocus pocus um so we were talking about this not too long ago on spooky slumber party and we reviewed the second one um yeah. i listened to it yeah they yeah. no, you know, i you. did too yeah well no I'm may sure i get a brownie did. there you go <laughs> thank you um and it's like it's kind of crazy you know, Hocus Pocus came out in 1993, and we're like, this is a movie I've literally been watching for 30 years almost. Yeah. Like, it's, and I know we're talking about the Garfield and the older things too. That's kind of a trip when you think about it. Like, something becomes so ingrained in your rituals and your yearly events. Hocus Pocus, I don't know. It's charming. It's charming. It's lovely. There's a talking cat. <laughs> it's fun and it's festive and it's a little bit spooky. Yeah, we so this is, we played it at the Lakeside Cinemas. I bet you did. We did. And I remember we watched it, did our midnight screening, and I thought it was I thought it was fun back then. And it's really cool to see a Halloween film mm-hmm. come out, and it as you know, it came out in July. Did it come out in July? Mm-hmm. That I don't remember. Okay, yeah. cool. But then um, it, the fact that it kind of I'm gonna say it went away, but no matter how much you, no one would talk about it, yeah, it would always kind of pop up. Yes. Maybe once in a while, something kind of bubble up, and people, yeah. you know, and now, of course, I mean, in the past few, even I get what five years, probably, it's been like a major topic, and enough so that yeah. they made a sequel because probably because of that, right? And because you have people who, like, you know, you showed it to your kids, and now, like, people, in you know, a little bit yeah. younger than you, in my generation, they're showing it to their kids, and so on and so forth it's it's got staying power and it charms a lot of people's hearts i in fact showed it to my kids in 2019 when we had to evacuate because of the fires in windsor oh yeah so we were held up in a at my dad's house he was he lives in uh east santa rosa kind of further out in the the sticks if you will and the power was out there but at least it wasn't on fire and they didn't make you have to leave so we were living <laughs> yeah. there for a few days That's important yeah, yeah <laughs> with no power but i had my ipad and like could use my phone to tether, right? And yeah. so I was doing uh, technology. And I, I'm like, it's almost it, this happened like a couple of days before Halloween, basically. Yeah. So I was like, here's a Halloween movie. When I had them watch uh, Hocus Pocus. That's adorable. So they watch I... it. Yeah, I mean, they had no other choice. But they liked well, it. Didn't nothing they? else to do. That's true. I didn't tried like showing it? it to my kids a while back. I think so. Yeah. They didn't like it. So. Oh. <laughs> Try again, kids. Try again. Uh, I. It's. Okay. Yeah. It's right. It's just not for me. Yeah. So, so good. good. Right, well, then you can fight about how low that goes when I introduce the third <laughs> in the three-way tie for third place, Trick or Treat. Yay! Okay. So, that movie is beloved to many, including myself. Um, this was another one that for a lot of us, like, when it came out, it was very under the radar and it kind of felt like our like our movie like you know something made spooky and fun and creepy and a little mean-spirited but also has like that wonderful halloween morality to it (laughs) and then it's grown and grown and grown in popularity and now you get sam merch at you know spirit halloween and I couldn't be happier for it. It's a franchise that deserves it. It's it's a lot like Terrifier, where it started so culty, and now it's so mainstream. And it, you know, resonates with a lot of people. Our little Sam, um, I I always go back and forth on what my favorite story is, but I do like the kids on the bus. I think that one really sticks <laughs> with me a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I. What can, what can I love? I love everything about it. It's a tree, and you watch it. You get the leaves tumbling down the streets and the orangey lights. You're just surrounded by the magic of it. Yep. Yeah. I, I, this was my first time watching oh. Trick or Treat. That's um, right. I started it last night. Uh, I finished it at work this morning. I work upstairs and I was the only one up there. So I, you know, just logged into my prime account and finished it. Don't mind if um, I do. Yeah. Hey, turn the sound up and <laughs> no one knew the better. Uh, I really liked this movie. Yay! I really liked it. I mean, so much so that I, I like, I want to edit my list now after watching everything, you yeah. know, uh, I would probably now have six films like Neil submitted. Um, yeah. I would take one off that we haven't gotten to yet. Um, wow. Oh, shit. 
it's a movie that it's a movie that we have talked about before okay. and that I have you know said things about but based on the parameters that we set on ourselves about having a Halloween themed movie I had to submit something and you know so uh I liked uh that they fucked up kids in this one yeah like they didn't shy away from that no um, they were bad kids yeah uh I I enjoyed how they connected everything you know it, it does not go in chronological order uh for those of you that haven't seen it um everyone else is probably good like oh, <laughs> that's cute thanks for <laughs> thanks for telling us <laughs> um did you think that sam was super adorable? i thought sam was adorable <laughs> i love it with the mask i would i want to give him a little hug while he's stabbing me in the neck with his lollipop i think that would be just be a, a, a good friday night i always think part of so. the cuteness of that film was they actually had a child in the suit um yeah and nothing against like small adults in suits but Makes it pretty cute when it's like yeah. a little kid. Yeah. Uh, my one complaint would be that they showed him with the mask off, and I, I'm thinking, like, you didn't need to do that. Oh, I like, that's what I just, I like his face either way. <laughs> I find it No, so I'm just saying, it was, I, it, to me, it just felt a little unnecessary. I like, I'm not hating that they did it. I'm just saying, like, if you just kept him in his little burlap Hat? mask, head, <laughs> whatever, whatever you want to call Towel? it. Towel? I'm, I'm, to I'm totally cool with that. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> it, did did you have a favorite segment? First timer, oh, pretty special first timer. Did you um, like the werewolves? The werewolves were great. The werewolves were good. Uh, did I like? Actually, I think I kind of like the kids at the quarry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think that was my favorite. Definitely. Yeah. It's the spookiest for sure. Yeah. It is spooky. Yep, I like it. Okay, so how do we figure out? We just got to argue it out, Scott. Yeah, it's up to you how you want to figure it out. I did my part. The algorithm, the algorithm did its thing. Now it's on you. It's all on you. I would say the fact that Caleb had such a great reaction to Trick or Treat, would and would edit the list, gives Trick or Treat some weight to go a little closer to number one. Just saying. Yeah, but I mean, we haven't even brought one up yet. That I'm just kind of like. No, it's too late now. <laughs> no, I know, but <laughs> so that's that's how I think these. Two right. So are. it was between trick or treat, hocus pocus, hocus and, Paranorman. pocus and Paranorman. So it sounds like what you're saying is trick or treat should be three, hocus pocus should be four, based on what you want, and Paranorman would be five. That's how I'm feeling. And Sandra gets what she wants. No, I'm just saying with the weightiness of it. I would go Paranorman three. Mm -hmm. Trick or Treat. Paranorman four. 3. Wow, okay. Paranorman 3. No, I love that movie. Okay. Paranorman 3. This is me. I'm not saying this is how it should go. But I get you. Paranorman 3, uh, Trick or Treat 4, Hocus Pocus 5. Wow. Maybe we should do a, like a, get some. Uh... Why don't we pull the audience? I'm, I'm currently, that's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> I was going to say, okay, let's find the middle ground on these. No, I was going to say, what do you guys say? Where would you? Well, I just, I, I have more of a, the Hocus Pocus call to me to, more to, than to, Paranorman. Right. And Hocus Pocus, okay, you have it at four. Caleb has it at five. Karen, oof. I don't know. You guys got to figure it out. <laughs> I well, already well, said well, it. Well, well, well you gotta you, argue it out. No, but where do you put yeah, it? Yeah, where? Do, yeah, you can't. I mean, you you're, can't you're, you can't just be like, "What do you is, guys do?" And then not. Yeah, no, that's not how it works. <laughs> yeah. I want to see you guys get your padded no, foam thing. No, that's not how start it works. Beat each other over the head with it. Not how it works. You can't be Switzerland. <sighs> I love Switzerland. And Scott, just for the record, you're saying what? I what do you think should be the best? Just, I mean, I think we can probably again. I can run it through the algorithm. If everybody votes, we can probably pick a, a first, second, and third place. I would like scientific data. Or, you, I mean, I can alternately, the three of you rate them from one to three, and I will run it through the algorithm and figure it out myself. Well, yeah, we can do that. I'm fine with that. I like the data. Numbers don't <laughs> lie. All right, well, Sandra, what order would you put them in? I'm going to say Norman at five, Hocus Pocus at four, Trick or Treat at three. And part of my weightiness was Caleb having a strong reaction to Trick or Treat.
Okay, here's what I think we should do. May I say what I think we should do? Uh, we've been asking you. Yeah, <laughs> you have not been. Based on everyone's answers, I would say Hocus goes to five, Paranorman to four, and Trick or Treat to three. That gives weight to Trick or Treat and Caleb liking it. That gives weight to Paranorman. And then, uh, and how you're in your feelings about Hocus Pocus. It kind of puts them all in together. Okay. Is that something we can, or are we want to wait till? Well, we everyone... already were telling Scott our rankings, and he was putting them through the algorithm. Okay. While you were over here doing your chicken. While I was doing my own rankings. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> can we move on to a two, or should we wait while everyone's talking about it? Sure, I don't feel, yeah. feel that we've decided yeah. anything, but yeah. sure. No, I'm saying we haven't decided yet. We can talk no, about two but, though. But we can still okay. get to number two while yeah. they while they talk, while they decide. Yeah, yeah, I currently I, I currently have it loaded into the algorithm and it's doing its thing and we'll uh, we'll let chat have their own their own weighting to that. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay. So then while we're figuring that out, at number two, and I feel like this might be what Caleb is waffling <laughs> on here. Uh -huh. We have a film I've never heard of. Night of Demons. We reviewed that oh, on we, this show. We reviewed, we reviewed it last year. Okay. <laughs> so, so this is, of the demon. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is the movie that I ca I was saying that I have watched like right. I think like three times, and then I f keep forgetting that I've seen it until a certain scene happens. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then now after watching, you know, Legend of Sleepy Hollow and and Trick or Treat, treat I would move this right off my list. <laughs> okay. Um, she sure didn't make my list. This is she going. Sure this is going list. to like seven to yeah. me. Like if we we did this episode next year, like I'll Night put, of the Demons. I'll is put her in my top twenty. <laughs> she's, she's not on in my top ten. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. The movie's just not that good. All right. So the the point is, so as of the list that we all turned in <laughs> for the homework, <laughs> it's on the list as number two. Yeah. So regardless of whether you like it. She's like scampering like up the top of like. <laughs> She's not going to make it. She's not going to make it. Um, she made it pretty far though. Well, yeah, but that's what Caleb is like admitting that it was under duress. <laughs> so what, why did why this are, make your it list? It made my list and it made it probably fairly high because, again, as a teenager in the 80s when this film came out, mm -hmm. it checked the boxes. It had the gore. It had a very simple story with simple acting. Um, it had Linnea Quigley, quite honestly. Um, <laughs> you know, it had a great opening credit scene with great music, mm -hmm. great synth music. And you probably don't remember it, but it's very animated. And no, I remember it. Lots of flying around and stuff. Yeah. Um, it's just one of those films I went to over and over because I love the practical effects in it. There's some really mm -hmm. cool practical effects. Um, again, it's a very simple film. It's about Halloween. It kind of gets to the point, and then you know you got the demons, you got people getting possessed, pe the people will get possessed off the humans, and, you know the ha da da da, -da <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> and you got an old man at the end who gets his throat all sliced right. up by apple or by the razor blades in the apple. That's everybody's yeah. favorite part. So, yeah. when we, when but, we and that's, it, and that's yeah. what I remember. Like, yeah. oh, I've seen this before. Yeah. <laughs> so the very end is where you finally remember. You don't no. remember the fact that Linnea <laughs> Quigley puts sign. a tube of lipstick up inside her boob, but you remember the guy at the very Couldn't, very end. Couldn't care. <laughs> Yeah. Less, All right. More, whatever. Yeah, like uh, again, she she didn't make yeah. my list. It's a fun yeah. movie. I mean, I do now remember the eat a bull of fuck, <laughs> <laughs> which is like what the the. I guess you'd call him the bully. Yes, the know? bully guy. Oh, who yeah. we all really didn't like when we were no, yeah. we were no, like, no, 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 no. But I mean, I think that's just a great line. To Why do I picture a bull of fuck like a bull of spaghettios? Sure. And they just all are the sure. letters. Why not? The letter F. <laughs> So, the whole M E C N K, yeah, okay. yeah, but they're just spaghetti is, but yeah, that only spell out. Could it be one? But, big... but only, but with only four it letters. It would be a bowl then. It would be like a a, no, a... a bowl with a one big F, one big U, one big K. Big pasta. Yes, I guess. It's anyway, a funny really line. Big pasta. It's just one of those lines. It's just like it doesn't make any sense, but it's just funny. Okay, this it's movie. Just funny. Regardless of Sandra's hatred for this film, did I say hatred? <laughs> it's got. It's got a fairly a fairly large group of people who do enjoy it quite a bit. It's got that cult following. It's got the fun nostalgia of the '80s, all that kind of fun stuff. So 
go out there, give it a watch as one of your Halloween films, because I will give you the seal of approval to do so. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> well then. Just in case you needed permission. I never, yeah. I love how Neil twists my words into that I hate this fu- Even Like, I'm sitting here straight face saying oh i like it just not that much and he's like actually Sandra hates you this ask film. your words were it's not a good movie it's those were your good. exact words it's not. i like a lot of things that aren't good oh okay okay it's i gotcha i gotcha it's not a good movie oh i like this film but i didn't say i hated it it's just not a good it's movie not, it's not i like a lot of things that are bad hello you we know this <laughs> Now, Neil, you said that this was probably rather high on your list. This was number one on your list. Oh, well, there you go. I mean, you don't even remember. (laughs) Wait, what movie are we talking about? I don't remember this movie. Uh, We're talking about how the Grinch stole Christmas. Oh, okay. I like that movie. (laughs) Number one. You heard it here. The original with Boris Carlo? Yeah. (laughs) Thank you, Scott, for clearing that up. No, the made for TV musical on NBC in 2020. Oh, God. Oh, horror film. (sighs) That is a horror film. Yeah. All I right. Love the all right. So down. before we get to number one, which oh, at this geez. point I feel all three of you must know what it's going to be, uh, I have run your votes through the algorithm, <laughs> and it happens to match uh, the weighting that was added by the chat as well. Lovely. At number five, we have Hocus Pocus. Okay. At number four, we have Paranorman, which puts number three, Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. Okay. Trick so at number one. So our list that is if so far full of integrity <laughs> <laughs> I know. completely I know. set in stone. Definite like scientific method. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, Portugal. <laughs> Definitely a poll worthy of Fox News. Mm. Oh, okay. okay um, number, number one. At number <laughs> one, <laughs> this is the only film all three of you can agree on. Is it we okay, have... Doug? Can you keep it on your list? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Halloween 3. <laughs> Season of the Witch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've talked about this movie. We did an episode about it, and it's come up other times. We had a party. We had a party about it. It is not Halloween, unless you watch... Halloween three season the witch to me. It's just not. Yeah. Yep. It's it might as well be Easter. And it's just <laughs> and might it's as so well. much better than just all the other Halloween movies. It's but, so yeah. fun. I love that it has found and it keeps continuing. I swear every year it gets more and more popular. Yeah. More and more people love it. Um, because it's fun. It's so fun. And yep. it's got the spirit of Halloween, like as a holiday, and it's got a secret cult, and it's got all the trappings that make like a fun Halloween adventure. It's got Tom in it. <laughs> yeah. All the trappings. It's got the little man. It's all about Tom. Weird, <laughs> it's all weird about sex the scenes. Tom. Yeah, and... with this girl that he met like 15 minutes ago and they're <laughs> yeah. madly in love with each other. Yep. Yeah. I, I'm not without its silliness, but yeah, it's and, it's it's enjoyable. And the best ending in the world. Oh, oh stop it! Stop it! <laughs> and it's you know it. We love John Carpenter. Well, some of us do, and I love that he has a lot of messaging about consumerism, and it's a lot. He actually it goes pretty deep, like with with this film and uh, the spirit of things and commercialism and greed and um american culture and and on top of that it's also very fun and the foley footsteps will echo in your mind forever <laughs> forever and ever, ever and ever should we sing <laughs> oh right away happy happy halloween 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 happy happy halloween silver shamrock vanilla ken's wearing a silver shamrock shirt there he is can i also just say that the the poster for this film is the most like nintendo entertainment system <laughs> game like yes cover I like ever i yeah, love I like it, it so much it really is it's great yeah. Good poster. There's lasers. <laughs> there, man. There, there are lasers. There's, they're like, I don't know. I called them pogs. I think the last time. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> you got masks melting children's faces into piles so of the goo. So the first, the first lady that gets it in her hotel room, like that is. Oh, that's right. Like, or like it, yeah. Like splits her lips open or uh, yeah. So cool, so cool. I so love cool. um, what's his name, Connell. 
Connell, Connell, Connell oh the old Connell guy Cochran, you know yeah. yeah. Like Cochran. when he when he finally meets his demise, I love his little like slow clap, you know. Yeah. It's so much better than like just a fuck you. It's just kind of <laughs> oh like, yeah. Well played. Well played, Tom Atkins. Well, well played. played. <laughs> yeah. I love that they smuggled the part of Snowman Jover. Yeah, I <laughs> spared <big>. no expense. <laughs> it's big, <laughs> but no one noticed it. Yep. They use some of that old black magic <laughs> that i remember we, we specifically discussed that part yeah how did, they, how did they get that stone yeah how did they steal that i think they i think it was mirrors they got like freaking uh david, david copperfield, copperfield there you go yep yeah that's how Str they straight off to do a it. terror train or something All right. and... oh speaking of terror train did you guys see i think it's on tubi there's a terror train remake no i've got it i want to watch it wow yes. i yeah. don't <laughs> So, okay, so should we recap what our top five is? Sure. Or, or top ten, for that matter. Our, our top ten list? I've question mark? <laughs> that is like, yeah, I would like to immediately amend. but Next year, Caleb. We'll help next year to amend. Okay. Next year. All right. Uh, so very quickly, I guess we'll run through it. I think Scott's it. got it. Okay. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead, yeah, Scott. Yeah. Have you been keeping track? Go ahead, yes. Scott. Oh, well, then let Caleb do it. Have you been keeping track? Now? No, Neil only did the top oh, okay. five, three. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> at number 10. Halloween. Garfield Halloween special. Okay. Number nine. Nightmare Before Christmas. Shame on you. Shame on you all. Nope. Number I eight. Shame. I, take, I do not take your shame. <laughs> Halloween Town. Yay. I number seven. You Legend of Sleepy Hollow. That's a good one. Number six. Terrifier. Good one. Yes. Number five, Hocus Pocus. Holding it down. I'll take it. I'll take it. Number four, Paranorman. He's Paranorman. That's pretty good. Number three, <laughs> Trick or Treat. Trick or Treat. Good Number Sam. two, which, anyway, Night of the Demon. <laughs> yeah, Night, <laughs> Night of the Demon. Demon's with an asterisk. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it was on steroids. See, yeah. <laughs> it didn't count. See, see footnote. <laughs> What I say to you and number one Halloween three season of the witch all right now may I mention oh no sure. the fact do you have another honorable mention no I do not <laughs> but I do believe there's probably going to be people who may be watching or listening to this mm -hmm. that might be saying you have a top 10 list of films mm -hmm. that are about Halloween Correct. and you don't have Halloween 1978 Halloween on there so I just want to address that yeah, because sure. uh, everyone who is already screaming and throwing tomatoes at the screen at us or their, their car radios that Halloween, we did top five. And for us, and for me, top six, <laughs> Halloween <laughs> from 78 is just not up there for us. No, I so. I adore John Carpenter. I do. But um, Michael and I have never connected on a spiritual level. Right. Yeah. We just haven't. I, there's things I like about it, and a lot of things I love about it are Dean Cundy things. Right. Um, it, I mean, it's not like Michael's not invited. We we wrote a whole story about how <laughs> <laughs> Michael's totally invited. Yeah. Just yeah. not to our top ten. Respect yeah. the hell out of it and out of the filmmakers who made it. There's no question about that. <laughs> So. Well, there's some question. <laughs> <laughs> no, respect them. No, oh no, uh, we respect them. You're saying I don't you respect don't. John Carpenter? No, that's not true. I just you don't come, care. I'm not for... gonna say all his films are just fantastic because it's just John Carpenter. I'm just not gonna say that. All of my John Carpenter picks. God damn it, they live is not a horror film. <laughs> <laughs> it's all insane. Um. Anyway, but yes. Halloween is respected by us. Gene Cundy, we all talk about the steady cam, the cinematography of the film, the lighting. It's all great stuff. We, we yes. know that. Everything can't be everyone's favorite and make everyone's top 10. <laughs> That's right. So don't send us the hate mail. You can send it to us, but we're not going to read it. We'll have Haley uh, the PA read it. We'll, we'll, or we'll read we'll, it and we'll laugh read. at it. <laughs> anyway, that is our top. <laughs> A list. It's a list. It's a list? It's a list? <laughs> Question mark? Question mark? Do you guys feel like seeing a cult show players presents? Oh, let's do it. All right. 
let's take a minute to set ourselves and when we come back the players will rule Come on, Barb. Church this morning, huh? Well, I mean, church is for praying. I haven't seen you in church much lately. Well, not much sense in my going to church. I mean, do you remember that time when we were small, we were out here? It was from right over there. I jumped out at you from behind a tree. Grandpa got all excited and he shook his fist at me and and said, boy, you'll be damned to hell. It was right over there, remember? You used to be so scared here. Johnny. You're still afraid. Stop it now. I mean it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it. You're acting like a child. They're coming for you. Look, there's one of them now. He'll, he'll hear you. Here comes one of them now. I'm out of here. John. No, no. Ah! Ah! Oh, yeah. All right, cut. Cut, cut, cut. I'm sorry. This is this isn't working. I um I need more drama. I need more more passion. I need it faster, but but stronger. From the top? So from the top. From the top. Faster but stronger. Passion. I need passion. More drama. More drama. Okay. 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 Okay, so reset from from reset. one. Reset from one. From one. <sighs>
action. Come on, Barb. Church was this morning. I haven't. Well, well, well no, no, well, no. Well, but I mean, <laughs> but I mean, sure. but I mean, church is for praying. Huh? I haven't seen you in church lately. Well, I mean, there's not much sense in me going to church. God damn it. Do you remember that time we were here and I jumped out from you from behind that tree and grandpa raised his fist at me and he said, damn you to hell. Uh, my line. You used to be really scared here. Johnny! Johnny, why? <laughs> You're still afraid. Stop it now. I mean, stop it right this instant. I, I mean it. <gasps> They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you. Look, there's one of them now. He will... <laughs> coming for you. That poor Look, man is no, going no, to hear you. He, who cares? I'm out of here. John. Why, John? Why? Ah! 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 All right. All right. Cut. 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 Okay. We didn't do it good? Okay. It's... It's, right. it's still not quite there. I need okay, okay, I okay. need more drama. The only thing I can think of is maybe more. maybe maybe with like a with like a like a strong southern accent. You know the drama that you get from southern those gothic. from those southern, southern gothic, gothic bells. Okay, you know, okay, okay, okay. You, yeah. you, you get right. it. You get yeah, it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, Tennessee yeah. Williams. And, and, and Caleb, it's very important that you need to shamble with that same southern accent. Okay. <laughs> that should be easy for you. Okay. And Come on, Barb. Church was this morning, huh? I mean, praying for church. I haven't seen you in church lately. Well, <laughs> not much sense of mine going to church. You remember that one time when we were small and I jumped out to and from you behind the tree over there and Grandpa Grand raised it. Grand Daddy. Grand Poppy <laughs> raised his fist to me and he said, Boy, you be damned to hell. It was, remember that? It was right over there. You used to be really scared here. Johnny! You, you're still afraid. Now stop it now. I'm mad it. But you know what? <laughs> They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it. Johnny, you so damn ignorant. They're, They're coming for you. Look. There's one of them now. Oh, my stars. I do declare that's the most southern zombie. Oh, I never <laughs> My lord, I'm out of here. You will. Oh, kind sir. I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, forgive my brother, Johnny. Uh, 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 Ma'am, I, 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 I'd like to chew on your arm just well, a, li a little bit. I can't commit that. I, I, no, I'm I, a southern I, chew woman. I, I, sir, I, sir, I, I declare, I, sir. Sir. Johnny, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, cut, 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 cut. Okay, all right. Uh, we're laughing too much. Clearly, the southern too accent funny. is just not. It's not. It's not bringing the drama. I, I was we're really trying. I was really trying on that one. We're from California. I, but, okay. well, you're right. You're right. What is? What is? What is the most dramatic thing you can think of? What is the most dramatic thing? I'll, I'll tell you mine. Dramatic, dramatic thing. Think. Small orphans at the turn of the last century. Like Oliver Twist. Exactly. Just that is, uh, that is the town. saddest, like the most town. dramatic thing I can think of. So okay. I want you to channel that okay. that 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 like that British orphan yeah. energy. All we're, right. We're talking smokestacks. We're talking workhouses. Okay, Dickens. It's Dickens. It's Dickensian. Right, right. right. Okay. Right. Okay. Dick, Dick, okay. Dick Van Dyke. Uh... No, no. <laughs> okay. Action. Oh, cut, cut, cut. Okay. No, let's try it again. Come on, Bob. I mean... Still sound sure, rather stupid. Sure was this morning. I, I, I mean, well, I mean, praying for church. Huh? Oh, I haven't seen, I haven't seen you in church lately. Well, <laughs> not much, not much sense in me going to church. Do, do you remember a time when we were we? The two kiddies playing over, we were so over, small. over in the moors. Only small. 
I jumped out from you right behind there. And Grandpa got all excited. Grandfather. He shook his fist at me and he said, Boy, you will be damned to hell. M remember that? It was right over there. You used to be really scared here. Oh, Johnny, I'm still scared. You are still afraid. I'm afraid the flu is coming. <laughs> oh, it's the Black Plague, and it's coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it, Johnny. You're as ignorant as a common chimney sweep. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it now. I do mean look, it, Brother look, Johnny. Look. There's one of them now. Chim oh. I'm Chimney. I'm out of here. Chimney. Stop it. You're acting like a child. Um, excuse me, Governor. Pardon me, Brother John. Um, oh no. Crumpets. May, may, pudding. May, may, pudding. May I have another? Johnny, may I have another? Oh, 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 sir, another? sir, pardon me. Do you have any crepe upon? Get him, Johnny. <laughs> Sir, why are you biting me? It's Christmas, Christmas I know. I, I need another. Another. Angry. Angry. Another. 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 Oh, oh, bloody hell, no! Here I come. I'm leaving I, with my I'm handbag. going to eat you now. I'm leaving with my, my purse. Oh. Corgis, Queen oh. of England. Oh, oh, Daddy, can I have another? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Should we... Oh, oh, oh. Is that it? Was that it? We got it? Okay. One, two, three. Okay, that was the worst bow. That was the worst oh. bow. Okay, I have to teach you how to bow. Okay. Uh -oh. All right. Can we bow like we're English or? I, I want you to bow like you are Southern bells. Okay. Um. Yes. Yes. Good afternoon. That was more of a curtsy, not a bow. Okay. But... This, okay. This is this is this is more of a this is more of an exercise than to, to loosen you up. I want you to bow backwards. Bow backwards. Okay. No, 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 but, but bow towards us, but backwards. <laughs> I think I've got it. I think I... Ow! <laughs> All right. Do we get it now? That's, yeah, that'll do it. Okay, go up, show. Yay! Thank you, Director Scott. <laughs> Good job. Good job. We'll be back with another installment someday. <laughs> someday. You we've, won't know when. We've been rehearsing that for a year, so. Yeah, you'll know that you're being punished for something when we come back and perform <laughs> this is, again. This is true. Of so, course, you can always just request it if maybe, we know you want maybe. it. And it's got to be a scene with three people or where we can play multiple roles. That's true. So we won't even charge you $75 on www.thecultshow.com slash store. Check it out. So what are you guys doing for the next episode? Oh, do we get, know? Get out of here, loser! I know. <laughs> we get out. Get, get, did we get, talk get about out. this? Yeah, we did. Okay. Next episode, <laughs> Good, I forgot. <laughs> is going to be just Caleb and I, just the two of us, building castles just in the two sky. Of us. We are going to do a. It's kind of guilty pleasure. Like we don't feel that bad about it, but it's technically a guilty pleasure movie. We, we're each gonna pick one. We're gonna have a guilty pleasure snack as well. Okay. How come I won't be included? Because you'll be gone. You you'll be suck. dead. Because <laughs> you don't like us anymore. He'll be on a tour of Europe. I'll be in <laughs> He'll be having the UK, Governor. And Portugal. <laughs> yes. Portugal. Fabulous. So, say, so we'll be back. All right. Guilty pleasure. Guilty snack. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Guilty verdict. I like cool. it. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you, everyone, for thank joining you. us. Happy Halloween. Happy, happy Halloween. No one else to sing with me. Screw you guys. Happy, happy Halloween. Silver Shamrock. Goodbye, one. Silver Shamrock. Bye.